Recently, I saw a thread complaining that he was always considered to be an error by Chinese because he had a beard. Inspired by this, I had the idea of making the video about how Chinese view the outside world. Because Chinese care a lot how foreigners think about Chinese, there are a lot of videos of articles about that, but rarely about how Chinese think about foreigners. It's been over a hundred years since Lin Zexu in Qing Dynasty proposed to open eyes and see the world. Also, it has been 37 years since the Chinese economic reform in 1978. How do Chinese people think about the outside world nowadays? In 1987, the first KFC was opened in Beijing, and the first McDonald's was opened in Shenzhen in 1990. Chinese people had real interaction with foreign culture, influenced Chinese people so much that a lot of Chinese people still consider that Western food is unhealthy, and the first Western food coming into mind must be bread. There are a lot of Western restaurants in China that are not called. French restaurants or Italian restaurants, but Western restaurants. Western restaurants supply Italian, French, Spanish, etc. styles of food, and also supply Chinese style Western food. Have you heard of spaghetti with beef and black pepper? Don't feel surprised. It's common that Chinese restaurants in Western countries also supply the food that Chinese have never heard of. When Chinese people go to other countries, especially UK, a lot of people, including me, cannot understand how can English people have meal only with a cold sandwich. As Chinese people are used to hot food and hot drink, cold food and drink or water with ice are definitely a big no-no. It is like foreigners. Cannot understand why Chinese people like chicken feet, this kind of weird food. When I was young, I jealous the kids who were born in other countries. Later, I found out that Japanese and Korean students are facing the same stress. Anyway, when I was in high school, I got up around half six in the morning. I got back around ten at night. Since junior high, especially senior high, we did not have much holiday. From what I have heard at that time, many from TV shows and movies, foreign kids had a lot of holiday, and they did not study much. They can fall in love in school, which is forbidden in China. So Chinese school students had to hide out so-called secret place to do some intimate things. However, the teachers were waiting at the secret place. And caught them at the scene. Don't love is a real story. We also heard that foreign parents respect their kids and do not physically punish them. Parents and their kids are equal; they can be like friends. Foreign people have more self-esteem, so the relationship of foreign family members are distant. One thing Chinese parents cannot understand is that once kids grow up until eighteen years old. They are financially independent. In recent years, Chinese people's understanding of Western families has changed a lot. More and more people think that foreign men are more responsible for their family. To the contrary, that Chinese men have mistresses. Because of Western TV shows and movies, Chinese people think that Westerners are open in sex. I believe sometimes the movies and TV shows send wrong messages. Do you know that in China, people who like to watch English TV shows despise people who like American TV shows, despise people who like Japanese TV shows, despise people who like South Korean TV shows, despise people who like Chinese TV shows. We call this the chain of despise, and the English TV shows are the top of the chain. Westerners don't feel cold. This must be impression when Chinese people go abroad. Westerners can wear shorts in winter. It seems crazy to Chinese people. This is probably the deep influence of Chinese medicine. Chinese girls were taught when they were young that it's important to keep legs and feet warm. A lot of Chinese people will wear chiu ku, long underwear, in winter. I recently read a news article talking about girls who want to look pretty while keeping warm, so they wore stockings underneath. Some girls even wear preservative film underneath the trousers so the legs won't look too big. As a lot of popcorn movies try to attract more Chinese audiences, some parts of movies will be related to China. For example, Iron Man Three. 
add the scenes for Chinese version, which is very unnecessary. The images show about China from red lanterns to Shanghai skyline is definitely an improvement, but it's always Shanghai. It's like Shanghai represents China. That's a bit annoying. At last, I want to talk about a very private topic: toilet. I guess a lot of foreigners in China complain about squatting toilet. Squatting is a relaxing position for a lot of Chinese people. Haven't seen that in some public places. Some Chinese people like to squat there. Can't believe that when Chinese people travel in Western countries, toilet is also the thing they will complain. If I say Japan has the best toilets in the world, I guess no one will disagree. The toilets in Japan have both squatting toilet and sitting toilet. Some of them even have instructions on how to use squatting toilet to increase the wall harmony. May I suggest here, Chinese government build more public toilets with a certain number of sitting toilets and improve sanitation. Western public toilets also build squatting toilets to meet Eastern people's requirements. Some Chinese people like to generalize people from other countries. It is said that the ideal life is earning American salary, living in an English house, marrying a Japanese wife, having a French lover, driving a German car, and employing a Chinese chef. At least it shows how some Chinese people view the world. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the show. If you like my video. Please follow, comment, and subscribe me. See you next time.